It's the new hot button issue, and it just got white hot flash trading. New York senior Senator Chuck Schumer says the SEC now plans to ban this high frequency trading technique. Flash trades allow some brokerages to see market data ahead of others and essentially leapfrog conventional traders. Bloomberg Sue Keenan is here with more on that story. Sue? It's a split second look, Mark. That's why it's called flash trades, and it is the most controversial aspect of high frequency trading and puts the spotlight on a broader concern that technology. Technology is changing faster and trading moving faster than regulators' ability to keep up with it. The New York Stock Exchange, for instance, now in addition to its historic trading floor, is building a cutting-edge data center in New Jersey that is loaded with the kind of super-powerful computers that will take rapid-fire robotic trades to a whole new level. In just a few short years, the roar on the New York Stock Exchange trading floor has gone from deafening to dead, as man has been replaced by machine. Most trading now takes place electronically, away from the trading floor. And we... Now the machines, according to NICE's head of technology, are moving to Mawa in a massive facility now rising from the ground. The, the facility in Mawa is really about the 21st century trading floor. Uh, what we're doing in the electronic world is what used to take place here on the, on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. So we're building a facility that is going to uh, take the capacity we need as a market operator for the next 15 to 20 years. Codenamed Project Alpha, the location is not only a closely guarded secret, construction shielded from view, it's part of a hotly debated issue. There are questions about equal access, regulation, and the potential danger for rapid-fire trading mistakes to trigger many market meltdowns. It's very difficult to regulate because really what we're talking about is you know, computers that are, are analyzing the market and trading. And so um, technology continues to get cheaper, it continues to get faster, bandwidth continues to get cheaper and fa faster. Um, and what are you going to do, go back to telephones? You can't go back, critics agree, but they also question whether smaller low-tech players will enjoy the same advantage as the big boys like Goldman Sachs or Citadel. They're investing more in their technology and more in their algorithms. That's where the advantage will be. But in terms of access uh, to the matching engines, everyone's on a level playing field. Now, NICE Euronext did not feel there was a level playing field with the high-frequency technique called flash orders. They spoke out against it. And Charles Schumer, the senator, says in a letter a week and a half ago he was going to propose legislation if the SEC didn't ask, act, uh, Patricia and Mark. Schumer is now saying he is pleased with the SEC response, that they're doing the right thing and moving to ban it. And, and NYSE Euronext, what are they saying? They are saying that they did not believe that this was a fair practice. It is a number of other exchanges, NASDAQ, OMX Group, yeah. BATS, Global Market, CWE, Stock Exchange, Direct Edge Holding, that offered this to some of their customers. Again, a split-second advantage, they said, to complete orders. But Patricia, many felt it allowed them with the high-speed trading to jump in ahead of others. All right. Thank you very much, Sue.